Tom McEwen, an unfortunate four down there on strike smartly. What happened? Um, I was just moving for the time, always conscious. Uh, obviously, being conscious for the time leaves you vulnerable to situations yeah. a little bit like that. If I had more time, yes, I think he would have jumped clear today. A um, lot, lot taken away from that. Yeah. Uh, I was delighted with him. Um, yeah, he was four seconds out of time, which I can't believe many mm. other people have done. So the time's easily achievable. It just needs to be ridden at that sort of pace um, in the right balance. But um, I think he's learnt a lot. Um, I think probably some of those fences down today were my fault as well. So, um, yeah, look forward to this afternoon. This is a really technical, quick course, though, isn't it, for a four-star event? Yeah, the horses were all maxed out yesterday, as everyone was fully aware. Mm. Um, they've worked hard now. They've come to probably one of the toughest tracks I've ever seen mm. uh, for eventing show jumping, especially on the last day of a, a three-day. Mm. Um, it's a proper maxed out. It looks maxed out high, maxed out sort of um, technicality. Certainly, time's very tight. Um, as we've already heard, Danny's jumped to, I'm sure, lovely clear. I heard it clear outside. So, um, yeah, it's, it's achievable and it's going to provide a very exciting afternoon. And you're sitting on 12th at the moment on your second horse. How has this round informed what you're going to do later on this afternoon? Yeah, got, got, got out there, ridden the lines, ridden the course, uh, ridden the ground. So obviously, may look flat to the outside, but there are undulations in there. Um, yeah, and it's nice to know that I've been around and gone four seconds under time, so I can easily do it again. Best of luck later on, Tom. Thank you very much.